Good morning. So glad to have you watching today. I know it might not feel like summer is upon us with this rain that continues, but Don Rains is here from Don's Meat Market getting us all ready for Memorial Day and the cookouts to follow. So good to see you. Good to see you, Julie. You're the ray of sunshine that we need today. And I'll tell you <laughs> what, uh, as you kind of go through, if you're thinking that you want to change up your Memorial Day cookout and kind of make it a little bit exotic, you've got something for us. Oh, absolutely. But if you still want to stick with the quote, boring hamburgers and hot dogs, it's not boring at oh, your no. place, is absolutely it? Absolutely not. I want to start with the hot dogs because you have to see it to believe it. Um, this is not what you're finding at the grocery store. No, these are twice the size. Now, are, you brought the buns to go with it, Don. I did. Um, because y'all are making things there at Don's Meat Shop, do you do it in a way where there's not as much fat in it so when you cook it, it's not gonna change size as much? Absolutely, you know, like our sausages, uh -huh. they're leaner than most grocery store sausages. That's a bratwurst, right? Yep, this is a bratwurst. Okay. And it won't shrink. Okay, which is why you have the own buns that you sell because you're going to yep. really need it. Yep, right? you're going to need a long bun. Okay, do you think when people use your hot dogs, for example, um, are they better if you burn them a little bit or? Oh, that's a personal preference, okay. Julie. Me, I like the little char. I do too. Some people, maybe not, but that's, that's really a preference. Okay, so I thought you brought hamburgers on the far end down there, but that's where the exotic begins to kick in. Yeah, this is an exotic burger. And it, we call it the Beast Burger because it's a blend of Wagyu beef, boar, bison, and elk. I'm guessing those are also going to be lean. They are. They? The only fat sources from the Wagyu beef. Okay. So is that going to have a different taste, Don? It's going to have a bolder taste, but it, not gamey. They're really good and really flavorful. You okay. don't want to overcook them. Okay. You know. Uh, you came up in conversation actually yesterday uh, with somebody out in the Udawa area saying, what's the name of that little meat market over there in Hickson? <laughs> I said, you mean Don's? She said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because you've been around for so long and you've yes. studied the area. So you mm -hmm. know how to give people what they're expecting, but you know the trends. So a lot of what you have is kind of the latest and greatest. Oh, yeah. So what is the this? You said you brought this back. That's a hanger steak, and what the, is that? the foodies really know. They call it the butcher's cut because that's this one right here. That's this one right here. Kind of looks like a tender. They call it hanging tenders. Okay. You know, I could get real technical and tell you exactly the muscles, but it hangs in the hind quarter, and that's how it gets the name hanging. And it's as tender as a ribeye. You know, okay. it's very tender. So you would cook it like you would to eat a steak traditionally. Absolutely. Okay. Now your fillets are unmatched. Yep. I mean, that's what you've got them. here. Yes, ma'am. Um, and then is this the ribeye? Or that's that... an Angus ribeye. Mm -hmm. What is it that makes it different when it's an Angus? Well, I mean, the, it, Angus is a breed, and, but it, it's more than that. You know, it's a high-end choice. So they go through a strict grading program of good marbleization and make sure that everything's right, more tender, more flavorful. Okay. So we want a high-end, not just Angus, we want a high-end top choice Angus product. Okay. We have a, a challenge going on in our house right now because mm -hmm. we, we cook a lot of steaks and our one of our daughters had been to Hennen's recently yep. and got a steak and then she said, you know, I've realized why our steaks aren't nearly <laughs> as good. We don't cook like Hennen's. Uh, but she says, because you're not seasoning them at home. So mm -hmm. if you go to Don's, Look what you've got. Talk about your char crust that you have. Yeah, char crust. This is a great one for steak. It's garlic peppercorn. And what it does is it puts a coating on it that helps hold in the juices, almost a blackening, if you will. So you've got that nice crust, nice flavor. And we sell a lot of this, especially this for steaks. But, you know, we've got options for pork chops, mm -hmm. hamburgers, you name it. We With have a lot of flavors. Your, you didn't bring your pork chops today or the chicken, but you've got that galore at the store also. And that's yeah. an easy summertime favorite, right? I did bring a pork chop, Julie. I just didn't have room to get it on. <laughs> I brought a lot of stuff. Well, okay, but you did bring a version of pork. You brought some right. ribs. I did. Now, this is a beef rib or is that a pork rib? That's a beef rib. That's a beef short rib. We sell it cut like that, and we also sell them in plates, you know, like the dino rib. Oh, yeah. You know, so the guys like to do the plates and get that dino rib okay. experience where you cut it. It'll be twice as long. Okay. You know, 
and then you smoke it for about eight hours. I still don't understand this, but you talk about it all the time. This pork belly, is that what that says? That is pork belly, but that's a new item for me. That is a pre-smoked pork belly. So let's say you don't have six hours to smoke a pork belly, then chill it down, cut it to make burn ends. That, all you have to do is thaw out, add the sauce, put it in the pan, put it on smoker. A few hours later, you have burn ends. Oh, and if you didn't need to use all of this, you can <laughs> save it, is that right? Absolutely. Okay, but now this is a traditional, is that a baby that, back? No, that's a St. Louis rib, but I have plenty of baby backs. I have, I'll have baby back ribs, I have St. Louis ribs. I brought a St. Louis rib this time. Well, I know that the baby back, I think, has less fat, right? Yeah, and it's tenderer. Okay. Uh, you know, it's, it's more, it, the, the, since it's part of the loin, where they pull it, the meat is actually a little tenderer. Okay. Not, not saying that you can't make that tender, but you can. Okay. Um, we're big fish eaters too at our house, so you mm -hmm. can't go wrong. I know you brought your scallops, that's a fan favorite. Is this tuna? That is, that's ahi tuna, sushi grade. Is there, is there a trick when you're cooking a tuna, like with your steak, you don't want to overcook it. Do you want it to be a little bit pink? Absolutely. Okay. I, I don't like to overcook tuna. Okay, and then what is this? Mahi-mahi. Oh. That's a great fish to grill. Is it? It doesn't get too flaky on the grill? No. That, that's a good one. So it has a little firmer in texture. Okay. It's thicker, so it does better on the grill than, say, a thinner filet. Okay. Uh, if you want a ch cooking challenge, to me, your tomahawk steak is it, because how do you ever know if you've cooked it through and through? Well, with this, I would use a thermometer. And you want to do a reverse sear on this. You want to start off at a low heat, 225 for about 30 minutes. Oh. Then you want to crank that heat up. I mean, really hot, 500, 600 degrees. Okay. Then sear it both sides and on the edges. And you're looking to get the internal temperature, say to 125 or 130. Okay. And don't forget, this will act like a standing rib roast. It, the temperature will rise after you take it off the grill. So you oh. need to allow for that. Okay, which is when you go to shop, if you've not eaten these things before, do pick his brain because he'll <laughs> tell you how to do it the right way. And then the last but not least, what is this tri-tip? How do That's you cook it? That's a tri-tip. Uh, you know, I call it a grilling roast. It's steak, so you can cook that whole, it can go on a smoker, it can go on the grill. Uh, if it does go on the grill, you're gonna take it at a little lower heat, uh, then sear it at the end. Mm -hmm but it's, people will slice it up and serve it family style. Okay. You know, we have a lot of new residents from California around yeah. here. They're finding me because I have tri-tip and they're looking for it. Well, if people find <laughs> out that your Memorial Day plans involve anything from Don's store and they invite themselves over and now you're having to get extra food, are y'all gonna be open Memorial Day? We are, we're gonna be open nine to four. We're gonna close a little early, Okay. but we'll be there till 4 p.m. Okay, so go shopping. <laughs> Mondays traditionally are their sale on chicken. Yep. Uh, if you wanna make a plan to go multiple times during the week, 842-1256 is the phone number. If you've got a large uh, group of people and you wanna make sure you can kind of pre-order mm -hmm. something, you're welcome to call them. Go find them on Hicks and Pike or donsmeatshop.com. Happy Hi. Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day to you too, Julie. Badcock's biggest Memorial Day sale is happening now. Save up to 50% store-wide. And for one week only, get an extra 10% off, including BOGO recliners. Find all your Just Right styles only at Badcock Home Furniture and more. Just 